Day five, this is the first mountain of the day. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the first one I've encountered today. The other one I went up was a hill, it wasn't a mountain. This one was a mountain. So, I don't know, probably, maybe 3,100 feet, I'm not sure. Anyway, gotta keep hiking. So, from what I've gathered so far, oh, actually, I lied earlier when I said I was on top of a mountain and the previous thing I went up was a hill. They were both hills. This is a mountain. <laughs> and what I've learned, how can I, there we go. What I've learned is that it's scary when you can't see how many switchbacks you have to get up the mountain. And it's so foggy this morning. I can't even see the top of the mountain. And so I'm like, am I there? So I'm like, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, I only have to get up that far and I'm at the top. And then you get there and then you look up and you're like, no, there's more. Anyway, well, this is a mountain. Got to climb it. <clears throat> so this, my friends, this is a mountain. I mean... <laughs> You walk off the little ledge right there and you got a, a long fall and a sudden stop. <laughs> Why isn't it focusing? There you go. That was really the tops up there, but this is the first like sheer, sheer side I've, uh, I've come to. And I really don't want to get any closer because that's a little scary. Yeah. All right, you know what I've realized so far? I like going uphill. I don't care how high it is. I'd rather climb uphill all day than go downhill because it's hell on your knees. And if, if you don't believe me, I right, look, y'all see a trail right there. Does that look like a trail? No, you see the little marker, see the little white rectangle? Obey the white, white rectangle, but there's no trail. You have to go down that. That's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun. It's more fun going up and just being tired. I just met a southbounder named Diesel here by Tesna T Gap. Tesna T Gap. Yeah. A southbounder. Almost done with the AT. Started in July of 2022. I was like, oh, that is amazing. Here I am five days in. <laughs> I'm going to hike the AT. And she was... She's not but 40 miles from the end. That's amazing. That's inspiring, man. In July of last year, hiking till now. Woo! We got a lot of miles ahead of me. Check that out. It doesn't really show in the pictures, but this is a really cool. It's a really cool rock. Ugh. Oh, it takes so long to focus. There we go. Focus, baby. It seems like out of some kind of horror movie or something, you know? <laughs> it's fog everywhere. I've got I got another northbounder coming up to me, Odat. He's a little bit behind me. Oh no. I don't see him yet. We're both heading to low gap. And might have some other people behind us, I don't know. I've been trying to keep it moving oh stuff my beard William if you're watching you'll like this all right so I haven't eaten all the meals but I saved one of the bags because you're pissed uh, you're supposed to pack it out hello Hi. sorry I'm doing my video but as I was saying William I saved the bag because you're supposed to pack it out and in a hiker box I came across oh god I'm on the came across some ramen and I have tuna. So I reused the bag and I just put the ramen and the tuna in there with hot water. And I figured that's a good way to keep my bowl clean so I don't have to go and clean it all the time. I just put the ramen or whatever I'm cooking in the bag. And so let me zip myself up. In the bag, boil water and then put the boiling water in there. I mean, that makes sense to me. 
Anyway, I, I think it's a good idea. William, if you're seeing this, that's a new tip. You don't have to throw these bags away. All right. Good morning, everyone. It's currently Sunday morning. It's day six for me on the trail. Right now, I'm at Low Gap Shelter, and I'm heading to... I plan to make it to Blue Mountain Shelter today, a little bit before Unicoi Gap. But I did check the comments on my videos, and William made a good suggestion that I point out where I am on a map. Because I know where I am because I'm here, but y'all are out there like, Unicoi Gap means nothing to you. So, I do not have a paper map. I have my data book right now, but I'm going to show you where I am on the data book. And then when I get to the next uh, resupply point, I'm going to pick up a map so y'all can follow along. Alright, let me show you. All right, here's my AT data book. It does not have the maps, but it has distances. And I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Oh, wrong place. I might do this without my headlamp. But if you can see, I started here. Let me get it out of the light. Springer Mountain. That's where I started. All right, I went all the way through all these things and camped the first night here at Hawk Mountain Shelter. That is 8.1 miles from Spring Mountain, Springer Mountain. Day two, I went through all these things right here and camped at Gooch Mountain Shelter, 15.7 miles from Springer Mountain. Day three, uh, if we go up, oh, let me get my light off of this. Day three, went through these and camped up here at Slaughter Creek campsites. Day four, you know, I'm gonna do this, let me try this without the headlamp. All right, y'all let me know what you can see better. This is without the headlamp. All right, so day three, Slaughter Creek campsites, 28.1 miles from Springer. And day four, I came up, Went into Neil Gap, that's where we saw the kitty, and I got my shake down, and had a pizza, and what else? Oh yeah, weighed my backpack, and dried everything out right there. And a lot of people stayed at the cabins there, but I pushed on, on day four. Uh, I pushed on, I was aiming for Bull Gap, but <laughs> I passed it by and went all the way up to Swain Gap. We're really probably closer to, yeah, yeah, Swain Gap. All right. And then day five yesterday, I hiked from Swain Gap up to Low Gap Shelter. And that is where I am at now. I haven't marked it yet. But I'm currently at Low Gap Shelter, 42.8 miles from... Springer Mountain, and my plans are to resupply up here at Unicoi Gap, but I like to get to the resupply points in the morning, you know, before noon, so I have time to go in, resupply, and then get back on the trail. So I am taking another easy day tomorrow, and I am going to go up to, well, not the easy day tomorrow, easy day today, I'm going to hike from Low Gap Shelter up to Blue Mountain Shelter right here at 50.1. So that's a, what is that, 7.3 miles. And then tomorrow I'll have time to hitch a ride into Helen, Georgia <laughs> and resupply and get some more food. All right, and I'm also gonna get a map. Like right now I use this data book because it's, it's very convenient and small, but I'm gonna get a map so y'all can follow along. So let me know if that was a little better. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it without the headlamp. The headlamp kind of messed with the, the focus of, of the camera. 
but I'm gonna follow along in the data book and with a map when I get a map at, at Unicoi Gap. All right, see y'all next time. I'm not see you next time. I'll, I'll see you in a few minutes when I do another video. <clears throat> so I'm 30 minutes out from the Low Gap Shelter. And if you're wondering why I'm walking through the woods and not on the trail, it's because, oh, uh, where do I go? I had to make, I had to dig my first cat hole of the trip. So far, I've been able to use the privy. But, got my little tool, little shovel, it works okay. And it was actually a false alarm, <laughs> but it was a good experience. You know, as long as you find a nice log to like sit down on, it's not that bad. All right, let me get back on the trail. I believe I am now at, God, I lost it, Poplar Stamp Gap. You can see the little uh, fire, fire pit right there, a few campsites. You can put your tent up right here. I think this is Poplar Stamp Gap. Let me switch it around. If you see. All right, so I started this morning low gap shelter 42.8 and oh man i'm an hour and a half in i've only made it 1.4 miles <laughs> hey, so here i am at poplar stamp gap and i've got to make it all the way up here so i still have what was that 5.9 miles to go is that right am i doing the math right yeah 5.9 but i think i'm gonna fill up water at this gap, Chattahoochee Gap. I'll probably just go through Cold Springs and then Chattahoochee Gap, refill my water. The trail just goes up into the mist. I don't know if you can see those people up in front of me. <laughs> but it's scary when it just goes up and you can't see how high it goes up. <laughs> you don't know how far you have to go. I know some people have like the little elevation maps and everything, I don't have that. I have distance. It says one mile from here to the next point, you know, let's say hypothetically one mile from here to the next point. You don't know if that's one mile up or one mile down or one mile flat, but that right there is scary. I don't know where I'm going. Well, I know where I'm going. I just don't know how we're going. Okay, so we are now at started where we're where we start low gap shelter let me get in there low gap shelter is where we started um i stopped at poplar stamp gap that was a little campsite now i've made it up to chattahoochee gap so that's at 47.8 and i need to get the blue mountain shelter that's, what, 2.3 miles? Man, it's not even noon yet. I don't know. I might go into Unicoi. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's take a tour around Chattahoochee Gap. So, trekking pole fell down. There we go, focus. All right, whenever I get to a place, I'll take the backpack off. Um. Oh, and William... I might have to eat my words that, uh, yeah, the bear vault, that thing's heavy. And really what I'm realizing, I, I have almost the same food since when I started at Springer. Like that is too much food to be filling up. So I may not be totally in error. I, I think I'm going to switch to a BV450, but, but don't quote me on that yet. Don't quote me on that yet. I got to call REI. All right. So here we are. Chattahoochee Gap. And then we got the Jack's Gap Trail, which is going up that way. And I'm not going up that way. I'm following. See if you can see it. Let me zoom in here. Yeah. Obey the white rectangles. <laughs> All right. So the, um, the uh, Appalachian Trail, the white rectangles are what you want to follow. Let's see. What does this say? water you know what i don't need water but water okay blue you see the blue 
Uh, let me zoom in. All right, the blue usually marks either another trail or a water source. And so that's gonna take you down to a water source. And that blue up there is another trail. But if you wanna be on the Appalachian Trail, you want those. But you know, the bear vault is not the first time I've been wrong. <laughs> if you remember my gear video, I was at REI and they were like, you should get the long spoon. And I told them, no, no, I need the short spoon because my pot's only this big. Uh, no, I, I, I need the long spoon. And I went back and got the long spoon. Um, so I've been wrong before. And I think I'm wrong about the bear vault. But I'm going to try out the BV450 and, and see if that works. In the back of my head, okay, okay, get this, get this. I, I have some crazy ideas sometimes. In the back of my head, I thought... If I carry this whole big, huge hunk in BV 500 all the way from Georgia to Maine, maybe BV, I mean, maybe Bear Vault will sponsor me. And then it finally clicked today. I was like, are they going to sponsor your knee replacement surgery? That's the key. <laughs> Another thing I'll admit I was wrong about was trekking poles. Before I started, a friend asked me, are you going to use trekking poles? And in the back of my head, I thought trekking poles were for old people because, you know, in Boy Scouts, when I was in my prime at Philmont, I didn't use trekking poles. I, I went up the mountain with 45 pounds on my back, up and down like a mountain goat. But if I didn't have trekking poles now, I would have given up like point blank period. It would have been over with first day. I mean, on, on uphill, on ascents and descents, you need... I, I I never could have imagined how much the trekking poles help. So if you're on the fence about them, just go with them. I'm a believer now, and I'm going to keep them. We are now at... Let me zoom in and hold it. Uh, Spaniard's Knob Campsite. And actually, I've been making good time because I started at 8.30 and... Man, I take a lot of stops, and so I've made 42.8, 49.2, 6 6.4 miles in, in about three hours, so I've been doing like two miles an hour. That's not bad. And when I say I take a, I take a lot of breaks, I, they, 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 my trail name almost became sit down, because whenever people would see me, I was sitting down. All right, let's see. We have water that away and then camping that away and as you can see the fog is lifted and actually I see some sunlight I might take a break here and dry all my stuff out because it's only a less than a mile to to the shelter up ahead I might just carry it there and dry it out we'll see so while I had some sun. Anyway, so while my stuff's drying, that's the first thing I do. Whenever the sun comes out, I pull everything out. Everything. Because it gets wet. Well, the stuff that cannot get wet by any means, you know, necessary, possible, at all costs, stays in there. Two bags around it. Everything else can get wet, but I don't like carrying wet stuff. But anyway, while this stuff's drying, this is the bear vault and if you want to get an idea of how big this thing is I mean, here's my hand and this, what like two hands going all the way up and I, <laughs> the vault itself weighs two and a half pounds but the thing is it's so big and bulky i mean it will fit inside the bag it'll fit down the bottom sideways horizontal but I just put too much stuff in it. And really I'm looking at it and half the stuff doesn't even need to go in the bear vault. And I, I think when I resupply next, I'm gonna see because this is a 500, a 450 is about right here. And really, if you look at that, look, I don't need to put my stove and fuel and stuff in there. And, and there's still, room to compress down there and I still have at least a day's worth of food in there at least 
So I think I'm gonna drop down to a 450 because that thing's so huge. And I'll tell you right now, I've been carrying, <laughs> I have not resupplied yet. The only thing, only food thing I purchased is that Snickers bar right there. Like this thing was chock full with food since Springer Mountain. It's been six days. I don't need to carry that much food. My knees, no, no. My knees don't need to carry that much food. All right, guys, I'm at, let me make sure this is right. Cause sometimes I take a video when it goes vertical instead of horizontal. Um, here at Blue Mountain Shelter, uh, a few, maybe two miles from Unicoi Gap. I have my little book, I'll show it to y'all later. But um, I'm about to set up my tent, you can see. We've got the people setting up tent. There's the shelter over there. The privy, let me zoom in, see if you all see the privy. Uh, where is it? Oh my God, yeah, you see the roof right there. I can zoom all the way in. That's, that's where the magic happens. Um, uh, I just wanna go down to, I don't wanna zoom. Stop zooming. All right, one time. All right, anyway, I'm figuring out the phone and video and at the same time. Blue Mountain Shelter, Privy's down there. I don't stay in the shelters. Uh, mice, I'm telling you, the mice are horrible. I stayed at Gooch Gap Shelter. Mice were hanging from the ceiling. Two were in my bag. One jumped over my head. Then I got up and slept on the, on the picnic table. And I hung my, sleeping, my, my backpack up outside. <laughs> and at night I heard skitter 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 and they were going down the awning on the roof of the shelter and got in my bag and climbing up the picnic table i mean it was bad it was bad i will not stay in the shelter again anyway i'm about to set up my tent and i'll see y'all tomorrow oh one more thing i forgot i i i i just got off the phone with rei i ordered the bv450 I know I shouldn't carry a bear vault at all because it's heavy, but it's a little bit lighter. I think it's almost half a pound lighter than the BV500, and it's not so bulky because that BV500 is just huge, and I don't need that much. But, okay, so I ordered the BV450. It's going to come into Franklin, North Carolina at the post office. I'll pick it up there, and I'm going to return the BV500 and see how it goes from there. All right. Here we are at the end of day six. If you can see, I'm at the Blue Mountain Shelter, which is really nice. And tomorrow I plan to be going, I plan to go into Helen, Georgia at Unicoi, Unicoi Gap. And I'm gonna try to get Helen, which is this way west. I believe if I go nine miles east, that's Hiawassee, but I'm going to try to go over to Helen and resupply. That's what I'm doing tomorrow, and then tomorrow night, nah, not sure where I'm going to camp yet. I may only make it to Rocky Mountain after resupplying, or I may come down and make it to the cheese factory. We'll see how I'm feeling and see how long it takes to get into town and back.